well, I'm with you if you're going to consider only Arab systems are authoritarian. Okay, I'm able to like have a dialogue about that. But let's be honest here. We didn't have the time to mature to have because nobody left us on our own. We were not able to to do whatever we wanted to self identify uh, sorry self determine our 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 future to start this without any colonizers without right. Israel without the inter, uh, without uh, the UK intervening without the US at the time uh, Britain now the US nobody's leaving you alone the the French the name, Ottomans are you, are you... over and over you know hundreds of years of colonialism it's still happening right now it hasn't stopped. Exactly. So how do you how do you expect governments in the Arab world to be advanced and democratic and whatever you think you have in the West if you're not letting them do it themselves? Why do you want to spread democracy? Do you really think that works? Did that work in Iraq? No, it didn't. Did that work in Libya? Okay, are we going to... How many examples do we need? Can't you just leave someone and maybe he'll figure out on its own on his own and he'll figure out what's best for him? No, that's not the option because clearly that's not their goal. That's that's not they don't want to help. They don't want to offer someone help. They don't want to actually do something beneficial for the people, for the uh, for the indigenous people, whether it's Syrians, the Palestinians, it doesn't matter. They carved it up in 1916. They want to they want to take advantage of the entire system. They don't. That's it, man. They don't care. They don't care about it. They don't leave these countries alone to mature on themselves. Right. They, they yeah. want the, the resources. It's all about the resources.